Gilfie, pleased to meet you, mate. You too. Uh, thanks for inviting me to the Swansea um, home dressing room. Welcome. It's pretty decent, isn't it? It's very good, yeah. We changed it up uh, after last season, and uh, yeah, the boys like it. Well, we're going to go through your life and your career through the medium of Instagram. Yeah. Um, you up for it? Let's do it. I'm going to start. First one, mate, is this one. One all against uh, Crystal Palace, scored a free kick, so it was a weird celebration for me, but I can't. Didn't know what to do, so I just jumped up and, and celebrated, but yeah, it was a good day. You're known as a dead ball specialist. How often do you practice? Um, I try to do it every Friday, so every day before a game. You've been called the Icelandic David Beckham. Are you having that? Who wouldn't? I mean, he's a fantastic uh, free kick taker, so if you're saying it, then it's got to be true. What is this? Um, that is a book that came out just before Christmas um, in Iceland. And um, it was kind of for the football fans in Iceland and, and all probably looked at to be a book for the younger younger generation in Iceland. So it was um, it was a good book, even though I say it myself, uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> most of the younger kids really enjoyed it. So it's like a coaching book, is it? Like I wouldn't say how to be as good as Gilfie Sigurdsson. I wouldn't say that. No, um, it's more like ideas how to train and and what you need to focus on if you if you want to be a professional athlete. This looks like one hell of a night. That's literally a couple of hours after the game where we qualified for the Euros. Um, I think everyone, pretty much the whole nation, kind of went to that square and and um, we went down there on a bus and it was, I mean, it was, it was out, outstanding and it showed what it means to us and, and of course the people back home as well. You're 38th in the world now. Three years ago, you were like 140th. Um, it's in, what's happened in those last three years? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, Thanks. <laughs> it was a, I mean, it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, we're at the right age. I think at the moment, majority of the players were in and around kind of 26. We changed the national team coach. Lars and, and Hamer came in, and they've done a fantastic job. A few beers drunk that night. I personally don't drink, but I pro actually promised the boys if we qualified for the Euros, uh, I was going to drink a glass of wine. But yeah. they were all so drunk, I didn't do it. No, I didn't have to. Oh, right. No words needed for this one. <laughs> <laughs> you can lose your hands to walk. He's trying to. You know this guy thing. He's trying. Yeah, yeah. Where you walk he's trying up to and walk, you look up. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. He was. I think he was a bit shy, and he probably didn't understand what was what was going on. You can lose your hands to walk. Junior your girlfriend there. Um, well played, mate. Thank you. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic day. First day of the season last year. Um, scored my first goal at Old Trafford. We won the game. And then Rory was there. He was um, presenting his trophy after he won the Open, I think. Yeah. And um, he was walking through the, the corridors in the stadium after the game. And I just asked him quickly if I could have a little, little picture. Even though you just scored the goal that beat May United. Yeah, he was. He probably didn't know who I was, and just said, "Yeah." Of course, he knew who you were. Yeah, right. he did, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. asked. He asked for the photo, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say no at first, but then I gave in. Yeah, you sort of go on then, Rory. Yeah. Go have one. Yeah. yeah. You're decent at golf. I've heard. I've heard. What handicap of four? Yeah, four or five. When I get when I get going in the summer. Best golfer at Swansea. Me. By far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's a very good looking trophy. It's a sportsman of the year in Iceland. Um, a big honour. I'm happy to have won it and hopefully I'll uh, win it again. Why has it got big planks of wood? I don't know. There's, there's a lot of people talking why it, why it looks like that. Um, I have no idea, mate. I mean, where, you have to have a special thing to put exactly, that. It's yeah. massive. Yeah, I didn't actually get get it. Uh, it was taken back. It's, it's way too big, as you can see. It, I mean, it's, a, it's just bad, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's it, mate. Um, thanks for your time. Thank you. Enjoy it. Cheers. Very good, yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> On a cold Wednesday night in Fleetwood, a guy called Jamie Vardy, four years on, he scores the winner of the Euros. Jamie Vardy is having a party. Oh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Please tell me it's true. It's um, it's looking that way. I mean, they must be mad to be honest with you.